Welcome guys! Welcome back to the Tamil channel! In today's video, we're going to look at na and na. They sound both the same. The two different um, letters and all the compound letters and see what the differences are and how and when to use them. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Now let's first look at the consonants. The consonants sound very different. So we've got n and in. So in at the front, n is kind of like between both sets of teeth. It Uth, not uth, and <laughs> so and and then we've got in so in same as in November night and then and is a useful for like words like Sundays and when it comes to the compound letters though they sound the same na 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 ni ni so why do we have two different letters that sound exactly the same in terms of using the letters there are some rules or one main rule that you need to remember compound letters of and only appear at the beginning of a word, whereas compound letters of in only appear in the middle or at the end of a word. Based on that rule, it's a very simple rule. Let's have a look at this word here, nan. So try pronouncing the word nan. So both start na for na and for in, so the front, n, in. So the tip of your tongue is behind your front teeth, n, nan. But by using the rule here, we've got a compound letter of na which is at the beginning of a word, and then we've got the consonant in, which is at the end. Even if it's without the consonant, let's say the word na na. Then na na, me, uh, as a question. Here we've got na na. Both na sounds are the, exactly the same, but two different letters. Here again, the rule is na, we use this na because at the beginning of a word, and then the other na because at, it's in the middle, or in this case, at the end of a word. Let's have a look at some examples. Ningai. So as you can see here, ningai, because the word starts with ni, compound of n, it has to be at the beginning, yeah? Ningai. Ningai. Another word here is aven. Now for aven, the n sound is at the end, so it's the consonant that we need. And here we've got to use this one, aven. Aven. Next up, we've got nungu. Nungu is palm fruit, and nungu here, because the word starts with nu, we need to use this nu. Nu, nungu, nung, nungu. Next word is banam. Banam. Banam is the sky in Tamil. Now here, the na sound is in the middle of a word. So here we're using the compound letter of na. Banam. Tamil speakers usually distinguish between this na and that na as periena and sinana. Periena is always at the beginning of words, and then sinana is always in the middle or at the end of words. Let's have a look at this word. Tenir. Tenir means T in Tamil. Here, the ni is in the middle of a word. Now, how does that work? The only exception here is generally, so ni would be at the beginning of a word only. So technically, we have to write it with the small ni. In this case, the word is a compound word, so it's made up of two different words. So in this case, we would then retain the periana, or in this case, ni. So that's why tenir is written tenir with a big ni. Okay, so this was a simple rule. Let's test your knowledge now. I'm going to show you a series of words with the N letter missing, and I want you to guess which N letter goes in there. Are you guys ready? Let's go. First word is nan. 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 So what's the missing letter? It's in. Fantastic. Next up, we've got manam. 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 Look at the rule here. So here we've got the chinna na because it's in the middle of a word. So the compound letter of na goes here. Manam. Next up we've got nangai. 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 So for nangai we will use the periya na. So nangai. Why? Because it's at the beginning of a word. Nangai. So if the word starts with a na sound, it has to be the periya na. Next one, nil. 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 Nil, correct, is written with a period ni. Nil. Again, because the word starts with a ni sound, it's nil. Next word is munnal. 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 So here we've got the in already. So the missing letter is na. Why? Because it's in the middle of a word. Munnal. Munnal. Next word, sini, sini, sini. So here, sini is a small ni because it's at the end of a word. Sini. 
Last but not least, the last word here is Varnavil. 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 Varnavil means rainbow in Tamil. Here for Varnavil, the na that's missing is the small na. Varnavil. Varnavil. Fantastic! I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comment section what kind of videos you want to see. Make sure you follow us on social media. We'll see you guys next time. Nandri